In the ant world, polygyny is when more than one ant queens from the same species run a single colony together. This of course varies by genus and species, but it's thought to be impossible for different species of ants to be polygynous together. Until a fellow ant keeper told me he has seen different Pogonomermex species sharing a colony in the wild. I recently caught more Pogonomermex queens than I knew what to do with, so I decided to run a risky experiment of putting a Pogonomermex rugosus queen with a Pogonomermex occidentalis queen, both fresh from their nuptial flights. Here is a video when I first introduced these queens together. I held my breath as they first met, and things were tense as they were obviously uncomfortable with each other's presence and tried to escape. So I left them alone for hours in the dark to see if they would accept each other's presence. Here's video of me using a red light, which they cannot see, in the dark, as to not bother them, to spy on them. I was happy to see that they seemed to have calmed down considerably, but I was worried one would soon turn on the other, or that neither of them would lay eggs, or even if they did lay eggs, they may eat each other's broods. Or even when the brood hatches, the workers may turn on each other. These two different species of harvester ant had a long road of obstacles to overcome before they were successfully polygynous. So I left them alone for a few more days. Only time would tell. Days later, the next time I checked on them, I was pleasantly surprised to see at least one of them had laid eggs. I observed them cleaning themselves, leaning and resting on each other, and taking turns moving and caring for the eggs, as if they were their own. The tenderness they both seemed to have for the same clutch of eggs made me think I had successfully made two different ant species polygynous. They continued this cooperative behavior for three weeks until... Oh my god, what? No. What happened? You guys are getting along so well. Oh my god, did she bit off her? Oh no. I was sad at the seemingly sudden betrayal and put the rugosis out of her misery. If one queen was going to kill the other, I thought it would be the larger rugosis to kill the Occidentalist. Maybe the Occidentalist was intimidated by the rugosis. Maybe the eggs were from the Occidentalist and she thought she was protecting them. But maybe some of these eggs are actually from the rugosis. Will the remaining queen care for both queen's eggs? Will any Rugosis workers serve the Occidentalist Queen? This was just one experiment, and I still feel like it's possible to have po successful polygyny in cross species, but I would have to go through a lot of Paganomer Mex Queens to get there. Instead of sacrificing more queens for science, I am satisfied with my interesting, albeit short experiment. Maybe if I catch another large batch of ants. But for now, thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more progress on my ants, tutorials, and experiments.